Hello, this is Donnie Rocket, bringing you another video from week three at the G&J Cartway for the uh, OVKA Karting Series, uh, Season 2019. This is the LO206 Senior Class. We're taking off and coming around for our uh, pace lap, I guess. Uh, I am starting ninth in this. We didn't have any um, qualifications. As a P-Pick, I'm in the ninth starting position. A little comment about my camera work. I'm going to have front-facing and rear-facing footage in this video. I'm using two older GoPros. Uh, on the front, I've got a GoPro Hero 3 White Edition and then a GoPro Hero 2 facing backwards. The one on the front is just mounted using regular old GoPro. Adhesive mounts right on my front fairing. And the rear-facing one has a weird cable stabilization platform thing that I bought for not too much money off Amazon. And it, uh, it, it seems to do pretty good for taking that vibration. Anyways, the race is taken off. This is my first time racing this configuration. Um, I did okay in the practice, but I'm still towards the back. Um, I lost some positions coming down through here. I was taking it um, a little easy anticipating a potential crash since it usually happened but nothing happened so now I'm pretty much into it I'm starting to get a little more familiar with the cart getting used to being around all these guys driving so I'm not quite nervous as to what everybody else is going to do I'm just kind of worry about what I'm doing so getting ready to flip to the rear facing footage right here so you can see all the action behind me there were no crashes in that first lap Right behind me, that's Joey Noozle in the 11. Right behind him, I believe, is Matt Abel. Both of these guys will, you, tip, you know, Matt will post pretty much every week's race footage. He's got a GoPro mount on the front of his uh, cart. Uh, Joey puts stuff up every now and then I've seen. Um, not always from OVKA action, but sometimes. He also does some other uh, uh, concession cart racing out at some of the more popular outdoor tracks across the nation. So a lot of slicing and dicing behind me. I don't appear to be holding anybody up too much. I believe right behind me now is uh, Matt Abel in that red number 63 cart. Uh, the rear facing thing, um, camera work wise, you know, it seemed to do okay. I got lucky in my placement. It seems to be pointing in the right direction. Uh, I might try to either shorten the lengths of the cable so it doesn't sway quite as much. But otherwise, it, it seemed to do okay. As you saw, that's the guy that just passed me. I'm going back to some forward stuff. He gets past me and stays in front of me. I'm probably down to about, like, maybe 13th or 14th position right now. And I believe there were 23 or 24 carts in the race. This section right here, eh, I'm starting okay-ish at, but I don't really feel that comfortable going through it right now mainly because I'm working off memory and I don't really remember it very well because as you come up to it you really don't see it that last little section and that's Matt Abel that just popped around me right there so I'm trying to stay on him I've watched some of his videos he's usually um, got pretty decent times on most of this stuff and he's got a pretty fair amount of experience but I do need to on this rear facing one try to stabilize my cables just a little bit so they don't sway as much over the big bumps when you're not hitting the big bumps, it does seem to take out a lot of the vibration. As you can see, I've got it mounted right above my chain guard, right on my motor, uh, to my right side. Yeah, this is the section right here. And I, one thing I do like about the rear-facing camera is that I can see where people are catching up to. Me. So we're back around. Some more front-facing. Matt's still in front of me. Field's pretty tight, I think. I'm still the guy that won the race, or that had the fastest time in the race, ran like a, a 47.4. My fastest was a 49.09 or something like that. So I'm about 1.6, 1.7 seconds off. Fastest lap time from the guy with the fastest time. Um, Looked like a lot of the people were running low 48s, 
right around the 48s, you know, kind of mid-pack stuff. So, okay, right there. I totally screwed that corner up. Didn't really know what to do um, as far as whether I was going to hit with a hit with penalty, so I just kind of stayed off the gas. And I saw the 99 was to the right of me, so I just kind of stayed off the gas until he got past me. And then I jumped back on the gas. I didn't know. I don't know what the rules are for that. As far as, you know, giving somebody position. I mean, it was in front of the guy, but if I would have kept my foot in the gas when I cut that corner, I would have gapped him even further. So I don't really think that's fair. So I just laid off the gas and let him get around me. But when you lay off the gas, um, you know, the gaps open up quick. So I think right now for the rest of the race, I don't really catch anybody in front of me, and it's just mainly battling it out with Joey Newsle, who's right behind me right now. So I'm not going to be switching back. I'm not going to. Some of the footage has been overlapping. It's not all continuous, but from now on out, it'll be continuous. You know, as it happens, time frame wise, I'll just switch from front to rear. For the race day, they ended up uh, raining out the rest of the day. We made a valiant attempt to run, uh, to get the second batch of heats in. But in reality, all we were able to do is that we had a rain delay, went and dried the track out. We were able, I believe, to finish out the remainder of the classes, I think, if I remember correctly. But after one round of races, we pretty much called it. The rain came in. And it was a good, you know, good cancel cancellation. It didn't um, all of a sudden, you know, the sun didn't all of a sudden pop out and everything stay dry for the rest of the night. It rained for the rest of the evening. So I think my fastest lap was my fifth lap, which probably has already happened. It was a 10 round heat or 10 lap heat. But it's, you know, I'm liking the track, and I, again, I like this rear-facing footage because I can see where Joey's catching me. Um, I believe he's racing some of the other classes, but this um, is his first season running the LO 206s, I think, just if I remember correctly from talking to him. For my um, settings on my cameras I'm running them both at 720 with uh, 60 FPS setting so that I you know the higher FPS setting you can get the from what I've read it reduces that jello effect you get with the vibration on some of these go-karts so it kind of jumps around a little bit but in all honesty for two you know, somewhat outdated GoPros I've seen worse footage that's for sure the footage doesn't look too bad I will be bringing, making another attempt at using a better camera with image stabilization in some upcoming races, but I I had the camera for this race, but I did not have the uh, proper mount for it. So I didn't use it. I just used my two old ones, and it turned out better than I thought it was going to turn out. Joey's starting to close it in on me now a little bit more. It's taking him a couple laps, but he's getting there. Catching me, I think, mainly through <clears throat> what's considered the bus stop in the back, which we just went through. The gap, you caught it through the wall there. And then when you come down here, there's the hard left. Come up here and you make a right and go around these two turtles. And he he he, he has good exit right there. And he was closing up on me right there, and he ducked around me. He'll pop up on the left, and we'll just run it out and forward for the rest of the race. But, you know, last year I did two LO206 races. Both races, there were crashes. I got separated because I started in the back. And all I was really doing was driving around all by myself. So I didn't really get to see how somebody who's, you know, running a decent line or any line, really, um, you know, how I can catch up to him or how I was getting dropped. So, so far in the first two races this year, I've had carts around me and it's given me a a lot more, you know, I say more quality race time or quality seat time. I can figure out what places I'm doing well at, what places I need improvement in. So I closed back up on him right through that section there. Um, 
pretty much stayed with them. And, and I don't use, I don't get too far off of them for the rest of the race, but I, I'm not able to catch them. And I was kind of wondering after I watched the end, you know, after I watched the footage and you know, thinking back on it, I, I maybe should have put the gear on with one more tooth on it. Yeah, right there, he, he gets in front of me through that section there. But I never hit my rev limiter. I would have liked to at least maybe hit it at the um, end of the straightaway after turn one, or turn two, or whatever it's called. But I, I didn't hit the rev limiter at all. Wind it down. I think we'll get the white flag right here. Yep, one, rate, one lap to go. I'm cruising around in 15th place, and I didn't show any rear-facing footage because right now there's nobody really that close to the back of me. As long as I don't screw up, I'm going to finish in 15th, which you know, is better than being uh, 23rd, which is where I've been, you know, for the for the last few races. So again, he kind of gaps me right through that section there, but uh, I see how I need to do it for future uh, races this season. close back up a little bit right down through here. I like this corner right here. It's just this corner to the right where I sometimes hit okay and I sometimes don't. So that's it. Like and subscribe. See you soon.